appreciate the laughter because I was booed off stage last week, you know. I had a benefit. So I was booed off stage for free. That's what upset me. And I knew I was going to get booed because I was the opening act for Snoop Dogg where no one knew he had a clean Christian comic. So when they lowered the lights, people were going, we want Snoop, we want Snoop, we want Snoop. MC came out, are you ready for Snoop Dogg? Yeah! Are you ready for Snoop Dogg? Yeah! Okay, but first... <laughs> didn't even get my name right. Here's Andy Griffith. Your brother's going, boo! For Mayberry? Boo! He looked different on TV. How many of y'all broke in here? By round of applause, how many broke people? Good, so y'all can relate to this shit right here. Because I'm telling you, I've been broke for so long, man, I forgot what it's like to tell people to get you change. I'm saying, you go to the store and you buy something that costs 99 cents, you give them a dollar and you wait for that change? Because that money add up, don't it? That money will add up. When you go to them Koreans, they're going to want that change. You better have it. I'm serious. And then when you're broke, you're going to have broke friends. How many of y'all got broke friends? By a round of applause. Well, that's good for you. Good for you. But see, when you got broke friends, they're going to keep you broke. All right? This on TV, we ain't booing. All right? We ain't booing. I know it's late. They're going to edit this part of the show. It's late. Y'all been all night waiting. I've been waiting too. So just be patient if y'all don't mind. All right? Appreciate that. Thank y'all very much. Because I am funny. I did these jokes last night and they work. All right? It's just late. It's just late. It's just a little bit late right now. All right? But we're going to work it out. So y'all still with me? Uptown, y'all still with me? All right, let's do this shit. Let's do this shit. So... Coming to the stage right now, all the way from LA, comedian Mr. Kenny Stroud, y'all give it up. Put your hands together. But you know, when you're broke, you're gonna have broke friends, y'all. So y'all ain't right. Y'all ain't right. Y'all make a nigga wanna just change a career in a minute, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, Work this shit out. Work this shit out. Y'all ain't gonna run a nigga off stage. Fuck that. I'm from LA. They gotta been through worse shit than that. Fuck that. We gonna we gonna roll this. You know what? I tell you what. We gonna come back on the next tape and y'all have a good night. And I did my first joke, which I didn't realize they were playing in the advertising on the radio, so everyone already heard it, and nobody, <laughs> nobody laughed. And I was like, literally, I was like already neck deep, and it was so long ago. And then I just remember, I went to another joke, and I just bailed halfway through, and was like, you guys aren't gonna laugh at that? And then they booed, and... Um, Let's, maybe we should roll the tape. Uh, I don't wanna see this. Uh, <laughs> I think you guys wanna see it. I've never seen that. Are you serious? I've never seen that, no. Really? No. 
so did you decide to do the countdown before you went out? I mean, is that something you? No, you no, no. What happened was, luckily, I had been booed before, so it wasn't a new thing. So the first time you get booed is a, you know, it's a, it's a hell of an experience because you have what you want, but it's the exact opposite emotion. You have the entire crowd's focus, <laughs> except there's no love. It's just hate. So the first time that happens, it's really, uh, I, I didn't know what to do. But I, I also, I remember just afterwards thinking about it, going like, why didn't I, I let that fat guy boo me? I let that chick with the weird glasses, like, why didn't I say something? <laughs> I just remember thinking, I was just mad at myself, going like, all right, you, you got booed, you know, they didn't think you were funny. Uh, but you sat there and, you know, it was a variety show. They had like a contortionist and somebody with a snake and then somebody saying, saying like, pour some sugar on me and like these leather pants and then they'd bring a comedian out. It was just, it was a complete shit show. So I just remember afterwards, I just remember being like upset at myself that I, that I, I was like, dude, you could at least throw one punch. You should have done that. But I, but, but then I didn't think of it again. I didn't think of it again because, uh, you know, you don't plan on something like that happening. So I don't know why I did that. I just started doing it and that they had the clock was there and I was just looking at it and I, I just, I don't know, I think in that moment I decided I wasn't gonna leave. So I think the countdown was kind of for me, like you're doing cardio, you know that? <laughs> and you're like, I'm not gonna look for one song, you know, and then look, all right, another three minutes went off. So here's the funny thing. So we still had one more date on that tour. Something was telling me, don't do the last one. And then I went to Cleveland and it was like, as I walked out on stage, everybody booed because they wanted me to trash their city. So then it became this thing, it was like, I can't do this again, or then this is my act. This is like Gallagher smashing the watermelons. I gotta come out and read about all your sports teams and shit. So uh, that was the one I freaked out about because I thought it was like, I thought my career was over. I was like, everywhere I go, I'm gonna get booed and blah, 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 blah. I'm glad that people enjoyed it because I was definitely, I was embarrassed that the whole thing happened. This weekend, veteran news anchorman David Brinkley apologized to Bill Clinton for an election night commentary in which he called the president, quote, boring and uncreative. Admitted Brinkley, there was certainly nothing uncreative about the way you moved Vince Foster's body. <laughs> President's a murderer, you didn't know that? And I'm nervous. I can literally hear my dad up in heaven right now, like, boy, you better not mess this up. <laughs> A lot of crazy stuff going on right now. Donald Trump is president. Nah, calm down. I'm not as mad as Facebook is. You read the messages. Oh, Donald Trump, that's the worst president ever. I'm not the smartest man, but 400 years of slavery and not one of them presidents made the cut. And the worst part is, I feel like I understand really what's the problem with Donald Trump. Everybody here in America knows the code. If you get caught cheating, you got to cut your side thing loose. <laughs> Donald Trump's still on the phone at the White House talking to Russia. Hello? Hey, no. No, I want to talk to my man right now. You go get my Putin. Is that you, my Putin? I love you so much. I love the way you smell. I love the way your name comes off my lips. Boom. Let's have some respect. Sit down, sit down. Y'all not gonna move me. No, sit down. And somebody always be like, hey, do home with the clown. And he's like, look, I just want to do my jokes. And someone else goes, hey, do Homie the Clown. And he goes, I really don't want to do it. The cat said, come on, Homie the Clown, Homie the Clown. He goes, the cat wants to see Homie? They're like, yay. And then he farted in the microphone. I never seen somebody do that. And he said, <laughs> and he said Homie don't play that. And he dropped the mic and he walked off stage. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh, he's drunk or something. I fucked up when I left my show. You know why? Because my show only has to be 22 minutes of television. I could have went on television, I could have read the phone book for 22 minutes, and I would have got $50 million. I should have done that shit. But my ego wouldn't let me. But tonight is different. Tonight my contract says 25 minutes, and I only have three minutes left. And when the three minutes is up, my ass is gone.
I'm going to be straight to the bank and then enact the deposit. We can do that now. You're blowing yourself. Oh, wow. What a piece of shit. You are blowing yourself. What a piece of shit. Look in the mirror and say, boo. What a piece of shit. And remember, this is how I feel about you. Piece of fucking shit. Ah, uh, fuck you. I'm the one that has to get the review in the paper tomorrow. I'm from Chicago, born and raised. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If there's one thing I've learned being from Chicago is that when you're from Chicago, you can't go nowhere else and get cold. Now, people act like something wrong with you if you catch a chill, because we're supposed to be invincible to the cold. Niggas see me outside and say stupid shit to me like, hey man, it's 30 degrees out here. I bet this feel like summer to you, don't it? No, nigga, it feel like cold, just like it do to you, stupid. The fuck are you talking about? People always say dumb shit. Like the other day I was outside the comedy club, I'm hanging with some niggas. I'm like, man, it's a little chilly out here. I'm gonna run to the car and get my coat. I'm cold. Nigga gonna look at me and say, you cold? Nigga, ain't you from Chicago? You should be used to the cold. Really? I said, nigga, that's the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my life. I give a fuck where you from. You don't get used to the cold. That's like being out with a nigga that been shot five times. And somebody starts shooting in the club and he take off running. And you catch him in the hallway like, nigga, for real, you scared? Everything all right back there? Oh shit. Oh that's for me. Y'all 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 don't like something I'm saying? Hell no. <laughs> oh well what the fuck y'all wanna talk about? Tell me. Now you tell me I make the joke about it now. Fuck it. Since, since you don't like the shit I got, tell me what you Yo, let's talk about a real issue at hand Trash piling up, it's time to take the stand From plastic bottles to styrofoam cups My plan is drowning, it's time to wake up Garbage trucks roll, streets lined with waste But where does it go? It's not a race To the landfill and mountain of despair But we can change course, show that we care Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Single-use plastics, they gotta go From straws to bags, it's time to say no Bring your own cup, your own tote bag Small steps add up, let's not lag Sorting all waste, it's not that tough Recycling centers, that's where it's rough Separate paper, glass and cans Give them a new life, that's the plan Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand But it's not just about the stuff we toss It's about the mindset, there's no loss Composting food waste, it's a win Turning scraps to soil, let's begin Educate the masses, from young to old The future's at stake, let the story unfold For the sake of our planet, our home sweet home Let's clean up our acts, together we roam Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand What you wanna hear about? Huh? Give it Give it Say what? Listen. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Let's let's bring it down a notch. <laughs> okay. It's all right. What well, shit? What well, goddamn it is? Somebody. <laughs> so, you don't want to give me shit to talk about. You don't want to hear the shit I'm talking about. It just ain't my night in this motherfucker. That's what you trying to tell me. Okay. I, I didn't. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. 